Here is video and activity number two in a series of videos where I am showing you how to facilitate and actually leading activities to help engage your virtual team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to lead a really fun exercise that I adapted from an idea a client gave me. The exercise is called Panic Picture, and it's a great fast-paced way to increase engagement, spark some laughter, but also create some connection on your virtual team. Here we go. Just as an FYI, in this video, I'm actually going to facilitate the activity panic picture in a way that you can watch it to see how I would facilitate it if I was live with a group. So you can take it and adapt it and lead it yourself, or you can also jump to this timestamp and just start playing the video and let me facilitate the activity for your group. So pop it up on the screen and let the video play out and it will facilitate the activity. You will wanna be there to be able to pause the video to allow people to share their stories. Uh, if you're gonna to choose to lead the activity yourself, I do. I am using a deck uh, of cards called We Engage Cards that have images on one side and quotes on the other. Super useful deck, tons of activities to be able to engage uh, your team both in person and virtually. Um, so you can either play the video and just use this, or you can also access a free digital version of the deck below or find the link on where to get it in the description. All right, hey y'all, good to be in cyberspace via video with you. My name is Chad Littlefield and I get to work with some of the coolest universities and organizations on the planet to help increase connection and engagement and make it really easy. And so in this exercise, in a moment, I am going to invite you into an adventure or an experience called Panic Picture. And as a group, your only goal is to score the maximum amount of points that you can. You can score up to 10 points. The way that you score a point is by not letting an image pass the screen before somebody unmutes and shares a story or memory that is cued or sparked by that image. So real quick before we get into it, I'll show you an example of what I mean. So I might hold up this image and somebody needs to unmute within five seconds because I'm gonna be switching images every five seconds. So somebody needs to unmute within five seconds to share a story or memory that is sparked by that image. So if I were to hold up this image, I might tell you about the time that I almost got my hand, my entire body and hand and arm stuck under a rock while reaching for an, a lobster while scuba diving in Massachusetts, right? And so if you're watching this uh, video live as a group, pause the video whenever somebody unmutes. Now, if somebody unmutes within that time and shares a story, you get a point. Your group gets a point. If somebody does not, and I flip to the next picture before anybody unmutes to share a story, then you cannot get that point. I'm gonna go through 10 images. You can get a max of 10 points. Here we go. Image number one, remember when I show this image, somebody needs to unmute within five seconds and share a story or memory that is sparked by this image. Here we go. All right, let me know how many points did you get? 
I don't know who kept score. Feel free to drop it into the chat. If you got 10 points, lovely. If you want to replay this at any point in time, you can use 10 other images. There's 50 images in the deck of We Engage cards in the digital version and the actual physical deck. There's a bunch of other activities that you can do with this, um, but you can also do with objects, right? So panic picture, the idea is that uh, visuals cue our memory and our, serve as sort of a key that pulls a file out of our lifetime of experience and stories and memories and moments. And so you could just gather 10 objects from around your house and hold them up as well if you wanna repeat this. If you didn't get to 10 this time, uh, feel free to try again at another time, another meeting to see if you can get to 10 points. If you did get to 10 points, let me know in the comments because that's impressive. If you want to challenge, switch the pictures every two seconds rather than every five seconds. See how quick your brain can think. Hope this kicked off uh, your meeting to a beautiful start or interrupted your virtual conference with something exciting. I'm Chad, it was awesome hanging out in cyberspace with you. This was the second video in a series of four videos on how to engage your virtual team, how to increase engagement and decrease boredom and exhaustion to end your virtual meetings feeling energized and not fried. I'm Chad, have an awesome day.